Okie dokie guys. I wanted to show y'all another um, shoe rack and I made. And I know you're thinking, oh, I've made a lot of them lately. Yeah, because I, I had a lot of stuff in storage and I keep finding shoes that I had in storage. And I designed this one for a set of cowboy, two sets of cowboy boots that I had. And let me grab the the measuring device and fight with it for a while. Uh, okay. These are, I use that bit, it's seven eighths. Them are seven eighths in diameter. And I cut them at, I think I cut it at 14 inches and because it went into the wood. Uh, that's showing 13 and, a, 13 and a quarter sticking out. Now this just is uh, an old piece of um, scrap. Um, God, that's 7 inch. I thought it was 8 inch. Well, it's 7 inch by 14 inch uh, piece of cedar lumber. And these are a type of hardwood I'm not real sure but I picked I picked these uh, up in the crafts area at Walmart and uh, they, they have three packs of them and they're fairly cheap uh, I put a I had a little bit of um, stain and clear that I mixed together that I was I, I was running low and I know it's got kind of a matte finish, but um, man, I could slap some clear on that and that would really come out good. I really kind of didn't want it to come out dark, but I wanted these two different pieces of uh, wood to match. Now I used this little device right here. It's an old fashioned style drill press. And I use this style of a um, bit to drill the hole in this and as you can see right there it leaves a little hole and what that does on this it really works out good it pops a little tiny hole through at the back side and so this doesn't come all the way through there's like a uh, an eighth of an inch I think is about left of the wood in there and so I just run these screws up in there and they're in there real nice and tight Now I haven't got no pads on bottom yet still thinking thinking about maybe putting a clear coat on there I got some right some right there I could do that and uh, but I took a sander and I, I took these edges off I mean, you can see some chips right there. Uh, I rounded these edges and kind of sand flat to give it a flat look. Um, but because of, I didn't paint the bottom, didn't need to, but I have these pads and I found this, believe it or not, I found this at the Dollar General store. All sorts of neat little pads on here. And I'm like, man, I'm going to use the heck out of this stuff now. Because uh, when you buy stuff like this at the hardware store, you pay out the wazoo for it. But um, I usually put the pads on at the last when I'm going to start using this thing. But I think I'll put a clear coat on it now. And uh, that'll change the whole look of this up. I might have to do a second video on that. But... uh them are the extra shoes I found in storage and I know they look all nice and glossy uh, I ran out of um, conditioner so I was using some Vaseline and the problem is it's too cold outside I gotta move these inside so I can um, let them warm up and get that uh, Vaseline to seek, uh, soak in I do have now have some leather conditioner that I'll be soaking these down with and kind of um, redoing them 
because they sit in a dry environment for two daggum long and I'm trying to revive them. So I'll use conditioner and I'll do that. I mean, they're good shoes. I ain't going to toss good stuff away. So anyhow, that's a neat, if you need, just like say, I got two sets of cowboy boots that I need and, uh, I'll do another video after I clear coat it. So we'll see what that next video looks like. Okay, guys, I did a second coat on on this, and what I did is took a which these are, these are called Scotch Brite pads, and they do wear out, but the you use this roughness to take the top off of your clear coat on the first and second coat. See, I can make this look like glass pretty quick, but for its intended purpose, I'm, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. It shows the grain good, and it uh, it's doing its job. So I'm going to call it good on this. Uh, I'm going to put me some felt pads on bottom. And then put me some boots on there and that'll be done the boot top will be sticking this way so it should balance out really good and uh, this was a simple project I mean pretty easy to do um, like I said if you get them dowel rods just go deep enough to where you can punch a hole in the bottom and put I put a one inch wood screw um, not a wood screw what is that a uh, well, wood screw, yeah. And you notice I didn't do nothing with the bottom. I mean, it's cedar. It's not going to rot. This thing will last forever as long as it's uh, not abused and all. So, I'm going to call it good on this uh, video for this one. And uh, get on to another project. So, y'all have a good one. We'll catch you on the next video.